Hey guys, welcome into my channel. Today we're going to play with a palette that I've been holding on to for about a month. The Pastel Roses launched the Floral Temptation palette and they also launched I think the Tropical something at the same time and it was right at the end of June. I want to say June 26th it went up on their Facebook page. They are an indie brand out of the UK. This did take a while to get shipped and delivered but I've had it for a little bit and I haven't played with it and I really like the idea of playing with this on camera because I feel like I can get away with more fun and exciting shimmers than I can on an everyday basis so I wanted to come up here and sit and play with you guys. By the way if you are a returning viewer on my channel I have the fan down here on the floor instead of above so I'm hoping that even if you can hear it it's not being picked up by the mic because a lot of the times the mic on top of the camera is being hit and it's like moving the mic around. If you hear a background noise, it's just me trying not to die from the heat up here. Hopefully the mic is not picking it up like it normally did. I don't know, if I go to edit it and it's terrible, I will scrap the footage. But back to the palette, this is one of my favorite color stories. It has pinks in it, it has greens in it, it has neutrals in it. It's just my kind of everyday color story. It's so gorgeous. These shimmers look honestly to die for, so I figured we could swatch this whole thing. I only want to do one look because I am going to film a different video, so I don't want to have two looks on my eyes. Right now, this palette is available for pre-order, so I felt good filming the video, but the first launch of this did go out of stock, so it does look like they are going to restock this. Here in the US, I paid $32 for this palette, so it honestly, for Indie Brand, wasn't that expensive for a 12-pan palette. This cardboard doesn't really bend, so I'm not able to kind of fold it backwards. I ended up getting one multi-chrome loose pigment, the Lavender Dust, which one is that one? This one, which let me show you guys just how beautiful this looks. Oof. This is the one that I wanted to use on the eyes today, but I'm really not good with loose pigments, so I was playing around with this ahead of time, and it's a lot of glitter and not a whole lot of base to it, even though it looks like it has a lot of base. So I was like, maybe we shouldn't. And then they threw in the very Perry one for free. I did not pay for this. It came free with the order. This one maybe looks like it has a little bit more base, but I did not want to like risk it just being a bunch of sparkle on the eyes. And I figure we stay with the palette. These loose pigments or at least the lavender dust one was $13 US. I ended up having to pay $15.90 for shipping. So um, that is that, you guys. Let's get into swatching this palette. I always like to start on like how they've laid it out, which is I start from left and I move right and I go down the palette. So that's what we'll stick with, my standard swatch method. This first shade, I always say, never does anything on me because it is basically my skin tone. I'm gonna start on my hand. This one is in Poem. The next one is this warm toned, almost like a mustardy yellow shade. And this one is in Sandy. The next one is a taupe shade. This is called Pump Us. These neutrals are nice. I like that they're, you know, no repetitive tones. The first really, really loose shimmer one of these came broken, so I had to repress it, and this one is just really, really loose. Like, this one looks like it was kind of on the edge of breaking as well. This one's called Boho. I love that they have a lot of tack to them. Sorry I swatched that on my wrist crease, I guess. This is an olive shade called Olive Tree, so that makes sense. I like how nice and easy the swatch is. Like just straight across, very soft. This one is natural. This is another shimmer, a metallic. Oh, that is so beautiful. Ooh, can you guys see that? N neither of these shimmers yet look like duochromes. This one has a lot of multi-chrome sparkles in it. So it has a different tones in it, but not, um, not shifty necessarily. This one I really like because it's like a yellow shimmer. I personally like a yellow shimmer. This next one is Tea Rose and it's a baby pink. Okay, that one didn't travel all the way. This next one is really light, like lavender called Mulberry. I like it. 
Again, no repetitive shades in the neutral selection. This one is called Mocha. I like how all the tones are different. Thank you. These next two shimmers are delightful. Again, very chunky. This one is Bouquet, which looks like a duochrome or a multi-chrome. Yeah, so pretty and reflective. This is obviously on the lighter side in terms of pigmentation. They're just really light shades. This one is called Temptation, so I'm thinking it's kind of like the highlight of the palette. I hate to say that because then I might reach for this one, but maybe we use both of those shimmers right there. And this last one is a really deep chocolatey brown called Melody. Yes, that was a beautiful swatch. There is the full palette swatched out. Very light in tone. So I'm interested to see what kind of pigmentation it has. The last two shimmers, this, or I never know where I'm pointing. These two, so beautiful. I wanna try both on the eyes. I have already primed my eyes, so I'm gonna tell you guys what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take, I'm doing a pinky purple look. That's just my kind of thing. And I wanna stay away from greens because I'm gonna be trying on some pinky blushes, I think after this. I don't have a big channel, but if you guys are interested in seeing me do like a green look with this palette, just let me know. But I'm gonna take this all over I'm going to try and just build with two colors instead of doing three because I feel like when I go for three, a lot of those looks just end up, I, I don't know, I lose a lot of what's in the crease. I don't have a big crease anyway. So I'm going to try and build in the outer corner with this because I like to do that. I am actually going to try both of these shimmers on the lid. So the darker one in Temptation, like on the outer part of the lid and this one definitely in the inner part of the lid. So I think I'm going to speed through this process because... I'm sure you guys just want to see the eyeshadow being put on. There is a ton of obviously glittery fallout with this. It's not exactly what I was kind of going for. I really do like to kind of smoke the outer corner, but you're not gonna get that with this mulberry shade. As you saw, I went into that Melody shade to really kind of just try and deep it up, but they basically blended themselves. I mean, everything took like five minutes to do, like in total, like going back in and blending and blending. This shimmer right here is so, so beautiful. This one in bouquet. This is my favorite kind of shimmer. Sparkly, shifty, light base. Oh, so pretty. Kinda wish this bouquet shade went all the way. I'm kind of covering up the temptation shade. I just really enjoy this bouquet shade. It's just my kind of thing. Yeah, it's really, really pretty. So I think that's it. I didn't go crazy. I really don't want to go into the lower lash line. I think I like this. I can tell you guys that it's a lot of glitter everywhere. My first impressions is that be prepared to get pretty dirty when you're dealing with this because these shadows are literally all over the place. I think this is just a palette that's on the lighter side. So it's really going to give you this very light kind of ethereal look. It's not an overly pigmented or deep color story. So I think that's pretty much what you can expect. The shadows themselves perform really, really well. I am going to do the other eye off camera. I will do the rest of my makeup as well. And then I will come back and we'll do just one final wrap up so you can see the eye look and the whole face look put together with this palette. And that'll be pretty much it. So I'll see you soon. We are back. I have tested a bunch of new makeup on my face. So my complexion is fully done with a bunch of new products. Don't know that I'm loving everything, especially the complexion products, but I am loving this palette. I actually ended up going back in and like deepening, like really digging into this shade and this shade and deepening up the outer corner. I was actually quite aggressive. And so it actually worked. I feel like it actually gave me even more depth in the outer corner, which is something that I really like. 
the shimmers are just they're so beautiful there's nothing wrong with this palette at all the quality is really good it's just on the lighter side in terms of pigmentation the mattes are super blendable it's really good quality it's just very very light there are some indie brand shadows where i do prefer like the shimmer formula over the matte formula but i think the matte formula in the three mattes that i tried were really really good together i mean everything blended beautifully so I definitely think this is worth my $32. That's my final take on it. I hope you guys enjoyed today's eye look and a little indie brand play. I love throwing in indie brand try-ons. They're just my favorite. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I'm out of here. I hope you consider subscribing if you're not already. And I hope to catch you all in my next video. Bye.